Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Nirvana Heart Shaped Box. Welcome to the brand new channel. Thank you to everyone for checking it out. I do appreciate if you do subscribe. It does help out the new channel, and we'll get the future Nirvana reactions in your suggestions on your home feed. But for this song, I mean, I was very, very impressed with Where'd You Sleep Last Night? The power in Kurt Cobain's voice, the sound of it was strong, the strength of the chords. I like the build up to kind of the chorus where he's screaming. And then the lyrics themselves are, like I said, it, it was haunting and eerie and powerful, I guess, and dark as well, but I, I kind of like that. But for this one, I'm not sure if it's gonna be something similar or something different. I really don't know, I've never heard of this song, but uh, excited to check it out. Let's just get right into it. Nirvana, heart-shaped box. That's the bass, right? pause here i mean i do not know i'm trying to pay attention to the lyrics and the visuals but what the heck we have santa jesus on the cross with crows what is going on here I mean, we're in for a song here. I'm turning up the volume, can I just say? Is that a fat angel? Bloody? What the? What are the, some of these images are horrifying and some of the lyrics are so dark too but it's powerful man it's powerful I don't know what Pisces like what sign I don't know the traits of Pisces It's like 
like a prehistoric animal stuck in a tar pit. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn back. Jesus guy. Okay. Well, that is Nirvana Heart-Shaped Box. Uh, that, I mean, the beat dropped heavier on this one than uh, Where'd You Sleep Last Night. And I was trying to take in the visuals of the music video, which were somewhat disturbing as well and dark. But there's a time and place for it and a mood for it. But I'm a fan of darker music and darker lyrics, you know, just very similar to films. You know, I usually prefer R-rated movies compared to PG, PG-13 movies. Not that there's anything wrong or with the dance song or things like that, but I just appreciate how the lyrics, you know, obviously Nirvana is a huge popular band, but they don't feel mainstream or, you know, family-friendly values here. It feels raw and honest and coming from a place, you know, a dark place in your soul and expressing that in the music. So I think that that type of authenticity and kind of more mature adult themes and dark imagery, I'm a fan of it, 100%. I mean, <laughs> there's some stuff in the music video we see like bloody fetuses and stuff you know it's it's those are unpleasant visuals like you see unpleasant visuals in a horror movie but it's artistically done at least in my opinion i kind of want to pull up the lyrics here real quick just to kind of go into it but so a pisces what are the traits of a pisces that's the thing i don't know i will say is is it him making fun of girls who are too much into astrology <laughs> Okay, I want to just look up really quick Pisces basic traits just to get an idea. Maybe he just chose one at random. Maybe it could have been any of them. Compassionate, artistic, deeply emotional, especially empathetic, at least a bit psychic, and often inclined to throw themselves into caring. You know what? I think that Kurt Cobain is a sensitive person. And I mean that as a compliment, like in an artistic sense. And maybe he opened up to someone and they kind of belittled that side of him, possibly. I mean, I definitely feel like there's some heavy sarcasm, right? I mean, there has to be, right? When he's like, oh, I forgot your priceless advice, you know? But I like the rage and the sound of that. You know what I mean? The term toxic relationship doesn't even sound sufficient for what I feel like he's describing in this song. But I like how, you know, I, I feel like I've heard songs or you hear about songs where there's a bad relationship and it's often like this empowering song, like I don't need that person, or it can be a sad song, like they broke my heart. But the tone of this one to take on this sarcasm and this anger and this rage is so unique, at least to me. And I really like that angle for this kind of song that's expressing probably heartbreak and loss over a bad relationship. At least that's kind of how I'm taking it, right? Um, let's just go through the lyrics. I've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. I've been drawn into your magnet tar pit trap. I like that line. Your magnet, like he's drawn in, right? There's some attraction, there's some appeal that happens. You know, someone can be very bad for you, but still have a very strong romantic appeal. So I feel like that's so such a great line. Your magnet tar pit trap. I mean, that's good writing. And then this too, I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. Oh, it's so, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the right word to describe it. You know, when someone's trying to be edgy, but is just trying to be edgy, this is genuine edgy, where it's not trying to be edgy, but it is whatever the authentic version of edginess is with that line. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. Like it's, it's like 
it's like RoboCop, okay? I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> that's what that's, uh, I'm at a loss for words for breaking it down, but it's like RoboCop, okay? My feelings about RoboCop, it's violent, it's gritty, it's just amazing. That line is like RoboCop. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in your debt to your <laughs> I love the sarcasm of this, your priceless advice. Oh, uh, why do people, why are those people, those toxic people or people who don't know anything, they always love to give advice, don't they? Meat eating orchids forgive no one just yet. Cut myself on angel hair and, your, and baby's breath. What does that mean? Cut myself on angel hair and baby's breath broken hymen of your highness i mean <laughs> i've left black throw down your umbilical noose so i can climb right back i mean it's like the girl has him whipped right or he's capped i mean he's he's trapped right it's like he's stuck with this woman who has such a strong control i'm assuming woman maybe it's not even romantic maybe it's just someone but i feel like the wording of it it seems like a relationship relationship you know what i mean um, but it's like he's trying to escape. He's aware that he's caught with this bad person who's putting him down. Um, and I could be totally uh, – my, my interpretation could be way, way off. I'm just trying to break it down and find the meaning myself. If I'm 100 percent wrong, if every single word I'm saying is inaccurate, please correct me in the comments. I would appreciate that. She eyes me like a Pisces when I'm weak. Okay. So then it just repeats itself. I feel like I like this even more than where did you sleep last night? I, I mean, I like that one a lot too, but this one, just because it dropped, it had like that metal power to it. And I like the anger behind it. And the language is very raw and in your face. And same with the visuals that we saw in the music video. If anyone wants to do like a detailed explanation, I'm sure there's lots of things I missed for what the music video meant. But I, I like that song. Um, I feel like you don't hear many if any songs like that at all now although i could be off i don't follow a lot of contemporary music myself i'm i'm outside of the loop of the whole music world past and present so maybe there is but if i had to guess i don't think a, a song like this comes out nowadays but maybe not maybe not but I would love to hear your own interpretation in the comments down below. I'm sure there are people who know a lot more about Nirvana, the band in general, the lyrics. They probably know the full story, you know, they're fans. So I'd love if anyone wanted to contribute more to kind of my interpretation of the meaning of the song. Definitely would love to learn about that in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this. Do you want to hear more Nirvana on this channel? I plan on exploring more Nirvana, but if there's a best place to start or certain songs in particular I should check out, please feel free to recommend them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. Thank you.